Yo, what is up, guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install mods for Minecraft Java Edition. So the first step to this is actually find a website that you find is trustworthy. For example, you can go to Modrant. I personally use Modrant, so we'll go for we'll go with Modrant for now. So basically, in Modrant, you first need an account for Modrant. I do have. So for example, I can go to Discover Mods. I think I have an account on this. I totally forgot. You can also go to CurseForge. So what you want to do here, for example, there's lot, lots of categories. Like, let's go to like cursed stuff. You know, random things. You can find error, lots of things, lots of things. So what we want to do, these are loaders, right? So whichever one you have, you pick that yeah i want stuff from this stuff right but if you don't have one well lucky for you i'll be showing you if you want shaders that's gonna be a different guy not gonna be covering in this video <laughs> but we're just gonna go over mods for some reason i am not sure why my this does not work matter of fact uh I did not install this even though I have fabric. It is not this one. I'm not sure why this why this does not work. Uh, I tried it and uh, it just wouldn't install. So we're not gonna go with fabric. We're gonna go with forge. So first step, you want to search up the mod. For today's example, I'll be using the create mod since we love our create mod. This is the real create mod for fabric. If we have fabric, I will be going over the guide for fabric so what you want to do first things first it you want to see what's the install installation requirements only some have this some don't but usually they say it under here so we have forge or new forge take anything well i'll be using forge so go to their website so for those if you have a link that's really good for example uh this version of create runs on forge so we click on forge because that's a link that's blue now we just find the right version which version do we need Let me go back to my give me a second please so if we go here here it says so whichever one you need we're just gonna take this one right we're gonna download this one. You can in click install and then you'll have the file here, right? And then what you can do, you can like minimize it. You can minimize that. You can minimize it like, okay, where'd it go? Huh? Huh? What? What just happened? Where's my installation? Did I do something wrong? If you clear it, that's weird. And then you're gonna install it, and then you can like, choose, like, uh, I want to install it in my downloads. I have a lots of mods installed, so these are just the song I would have create, right? So you can save it, it's gonna start downloading, right? You're gonna do this, you're gonna open that folder, I'm just gonna drag it out here, right? So after you're done that, right? So you have create. Now let's get forge. Which we already have a paid for. Forge. So you pick which version you want. For this one it says forge new forge 1.20.1. So we're gonna go to 1.211, which is right here, 1.21. So we can download the recommended. You can click on installer, that will install it here, I believe. If you click on installer, what you wanna do here, you wanna do, don't touch anything, cause it's just a lot of ads. What you wanna wait, do is wait until this skip button here appears. You wanna click skip, 
and it will ask you where you want to put it. Let's get it in downloads. We get it there, it's gonna start, start installing. We can delete this page because that is installing. <coughs> so, once it is installed, let's just delete. So, once it's gonna be installed, we're gonna drag it out here and we're gonna run the program. That's gonna pop up here and we should install client. You can choose this and you can see where you wanna uh, put this client. So after this, we could click okay. There's gonna be a screen that I don't wanna install Forge again. So there's gonna be a screen. You're gonna press okay and it's gonna install and it will say what it's done. So after you're done install, Why not just install it at this point? So you wanna click OK and this thing is gonna start. It's gonna finish and yeah. But if I believe this is running on Java, it might not open. It might not open, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna get Java. How do you get that, you may ask? If you want a step-by-step -step video details on how to get Java, I really, really, really recommend going to the Breakdown channel. They have a video about how to download Java. <coughs> so, we're gonna just get Java. So we can just go to, I don't know how you spell Java. Java 17, but we're not, we don't want 17 because that's not what we want. Download Java for Windows. Just search it up, go to the download, and you can do it on your own. So decline, I'll screw it. Uh, you can just click download Java, and the first link should be okay. So you can download it, you can have it, have it here. You can install it, and then you can run it, and it's gonna set up everything right. You're gonna be good. It's okay. But for, if for some reason it does not work, we're going to go get Jarfix. Jarfix, because sometimes it doesn't work. So we're going to go for Jarfix download. We're going to go to this one, Soft Sonic, because it's the one I downloaded. We're going to go to download. We're going to install this. Right? Once it's installed, you want to drag it down here. You want to run it. And then you're going to press, there's going to be a screen. You want to press confirm, and this will link your java with your files so and then you can right click on it open with and then the, you should have a java and then you can do that and then you can get as i showed you, you you should get that screen and then you should be good to go <coughs> so after you're done that you should have this you can delete it if you want oh, okay i don't need it but then next step is to actually open your minecraft open your minecraft launcher wait for it to load and then you should either have it over here with this icon but if you don't uh, then you should go go to installations uh, you can click new installation and then you can name it whatever you want. You can change the icon to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Then you click on this and then you go to where you find it. The half fabric and the fabric loader. And then you could search it up. For example, forge. A uh, forge. For some reason I have three forges. I don't know now why I have three. But you can do that, name it, and then you can create it you can save it right once that's done you want to click on it and you want to play that so you want to like have it here right now we're not just gonna click play because no you're not done so since you have your create mod file I believe 
Okay, I have fabric origin. I don't have the actual create just sitting here, but imagine this is your create mod, right? We're gonna use that as an example because this should be a create mod, it shouldn't be create fabric. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna open up this. You're not gonna click on anything for except it says app data percent. Percent app data percent. No, you're not gonna do that. We're gonna type it manually. App data data percent until you see this you can click on this or you can just click enter which will should take you here we're gonna go to minecraft you're gonna go to mods if you've ever modded something you should have this folder if you have not which you should have look if you have if you do not have it it is okay it is no big problem you're gonna click the, you're gonna right click on this area right click view no actually no uh, you're gonna right click you're gonna go to new then folder we're gonna create one and then you're gonna name it mods you're gonna go in here there should be nothing here this is just my mods here is my create mod as you can see uh, so here's my create mod I oh here this should be empty you take your create mod and drop it in then you can safely close close this and then if you, if you want to you could rerun minecraft which i'm not i'm gonna do i will run minecraft one more time huh why is minecraft not watching never mind just probably just the glitch <coughs> so you want to put your create mod in and then you want to load up minecraft should have the forge in here and then you can click play and you can have fun enjoy your mod on this world so i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys need some basic help to how to use the create mod or anything i'll leave a, I'll, I'll have a card on the top right if you need and that is gonna be it and by the way if you see this screen that is not something bad it just means it's loading and this is a good sign that you have the screen if you don't i'm not sure what's happening you should have the screen at some time this is the classic forge screen if you don't have it it's either probably because it's not working or it's probably because you are not using forge you can go to mods and you can see what you have you can, you're running forge obviously you're not running the normal minecraft don't mind this flywheel uh, this comes with create and this is your create mod as you can see so you're done you can click single player you can create a new world and do some stuff this is my create world and you will see this world in the other video i hope you enjoyed till then meet you next time until then bye bye